Hi, Kevin Murray here, uh, Nate Personal Fitness Training Diploma Program, Sessional Instructor and Personal Fitness Trainer. I have here a colleague and friend of mine who is also an instructor in the Personal Training Program and a personal trainer here at Nate, Kate Andrews. And today she has come to me presenting with low back pain. Now after some assessments and I've gathered some data, I have decided to use this dense therapy pillow and what we're going to do is ask Kate to open her legs just a little bit, her knees just a little bit, and she's gonna bring them back in against the pillow, okay? Now what I'm going to ask her to do is to about 60 to 70% maximum effort, squeeze in against the pillow for two seconds, and then release for two seconds. Squeeze in against the pillow for two seconds, and then release for two seconds. Yep. So this is an anatomical pelvis, and what oftentimes is misleading is that people think that it's one fused structure, when in fact it has articulations at the front here, what's called the pubis symphysis, and back here where the sacrum meets the ilium, which is called the sacroiliac joint, or your SI joint. Now, what can happen due to various factors is that this pelvic ring becomes distorted. So instead of it being symmetrical at the front and at the back, what happens is we get an asymmetry. Okay, so the exercise that Kate is performing right now is actually using the inner thigh musculature, okay, to give the nervous system some new information that's going to upregulate and help realign the pubis synthesis on the front.